How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Um, first off, I just want to say um, thank you to the people that came out to um, the truck show over the weekend in uh, East Tennessee um, and came up and asked me several questions about this and you know shook my hand and talked to me about it. Um, it was flattering to say the least um, you know I, I had a chance to meet some awesome people uh, some younger and enthusiasts wanting to get into the truck scene or uh, you know the diesel uh, gang or whatever and uh, they were asking me questions on you know reliability on these things and I just want to thank you guys for doing that uh, I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you're tuning into these videos, uh, and I hope I am able to continue to help you out. So, this is part three of how to bulletproof your 6.5. Uh, this one I'm kind of doing a little bit uh, low key, but um, <laughs> as an old man drives by. <laughs> um, so, first off, the crank and main studs. So in these later model GM 65s, uh, they were mass produced to the point where quality control was more or less quantity over quality. Um, you gotta be mindful of the uh, cranks. They were known for cracking and um, you know it's just Again, something to keep in mind and uh, to bulletproof it or and this video is more or less or everything inside the motor um, that you can pretty much bulletproof on these things this so I mean it's three-part series so far uh, the main studs um, just like head studs you can stud the main caps and that will help strengthen the main bearings and main caps and help support the crank if you are trying to reach the higher horsepower numbers for the 6.5 so keep in mind which block you want to get which year model you want to get um, if you would like me to make a video on the number of different 6.5 blocks um, some would argue that uh, some are better than others. Um, you know, I've I've always had luck out of the ones I had, which is the later model. But the older models are definitely something to look at too. Um, if you're going, moving on to number two, if you're going to hop these things up uh, with fuel, again, think about air. If if you're putting a bunch of fuel in the combustion chamber, you're really um, throwing an excess amount of heat is being built up in the combustion chamber. Um, they can lead to piston cracking um, and uh, block cracking. Um, so be mindful of that. Get your fuel to air mixture correct if you're gonna hop up the fuel you got to do something about the air or you are gonna crack a piston um, number three rockers um, I've never uh, I've only seen it a couple times uh, personally but uh, your rockers for uh, your valves um, they can bend along with the, the push rods if, if, if I mean, if you're really throwing the fuel to it and asking everything out of them, um, these are not brand new motors by any means, so they've had a couple thousand miles on them, um, and more or less this is the expensive video, the things that you're, if you're really wanting to get the power out of these things. Uh, Leroy Diesel sells... Um, uh, aftermarket rockers for the valves um, or he, he has them on his website I believe uh, it's been a while since I've been on his website uh, number four 
the timing gear set. Uh, I know Leroy Diesel offers this. Behind your front cover is a timing chain and that basically keeps the camshaft and the crankshaft in time together and that chain can wear out causing a number of timing issues. Uh, you can wear out, you know, your, you can bend a valve, have a valve smack a piston, um, you know, because the, the timing is off and as your piston's just barely closing, your piston comes up and smacks it. Um, the timing gear set, it, one, it's stronger, it's, it's gears that are meshed together that will keep it in time uh, for however long you're going to own the truck. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about that timing chain really going out. Um, as far as I know, mine, mine has 263,000 miles. That has not been replaced, um, I know, because when I did the water pump, you take off the front cover, the timing chain's right there. I want to later get that timing gear set. It does add a little bit of engine noise, and not that these things aren't quiet <laughs> to begin with, but, um, you know, it, it's just reassurance bulletproofing. Um... In my last video, one of, I don't know if he's a follower, um, but I had a comment from somebody who watched the video about uh, what other things you could do that I forgot. And I mentioned the um, oil cooler, or the fluid coolers, uh, relocating them. Um, he mentioned the um, high capacity oil pan. Um, that is a super great option, and if you buy a P400 or an optimizer block, I think, um, you need, I know for the P400 block, because it has the extended main stud girdle, you do need that old pan, but you can put them, I believe, on a regular 6.5 block. Um, they just bolt right up. They add an extra couple quarts to it, um, help really extend the life of your engine oil, uh, especially if you do regular oil changes. Yeah, it, it will cost a little bit extra to do an oil change, um, but if that's all it is about maintaining these things, how long do you want this thing to run for you? Um, again, for the new 6.5 owners, I don't mean to make this series as these things are absolute garbage because they're not um, and I don't want to deter anybody away from these things especially if you can get them for a great price and that's that's the whole reason why I'm trying to make these series is they are affordable they are reliable and if you can buy one and want to get into the diesel world by all means pick one up but that'll do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching um, stay tuned, I will have uh, more content coming out. Uh, cash is a little tight, um, like I said, due to this Rona crap, but uh, you know, more things to come for this. Uh, let me know if you want to see any other videos, if uh, you want to know about the different blocks for these things, if uh, you have any questions, comments. Or concerns please leave them in the comments below if you like this video please hit that like button and um, you know keep these things running legends thank you